prior faithful I'm in meetings and everything but had to make a quick video of course we just saw the news reported by Robert Murray the Padres and shocker jerks and pro Farm have agreed to a one-year one million dollar deal this was a match made in heaven right jerks and pro far absolutely love San Diego and in terms of playing for the Padres we've seen a lot of players have it he has Number two, the Padres need outfielders. Uh, they only have Fernando Tatis Jr. and Jose Azokar on their 40-man roster. Azokar isn't a major league level starting outfielder, so really their only starting outfielder they have is platinum glove winner Fernando Tatis Jr. I just hit the spring on the side of my wall. When you look at this team, it's a good fit because they desperately need a bat on the left side of the plate. Profar provides them a switch hitting opportunity. Number two, Jerks of Profar is trying to regain a little bit of his value. He was very disappointed with how Scott Boris and his representation handled his contract negotiations. After a career year in 2022 with the Padres, being a big and integral reason why they went to the NLCS, he only got a $5.5 million deal with the Colorado Rockies, where a lot of people thought he was going to get three years, $30 plus million. And if that was hindsight, he should have opted into his player option with the San Diego Padres. With that being said, Profar has decided to leave Boris representation and join MVP Sports Group that represents the likes of Fernando Tatis Jr., Manny Machado, to name a few. Fire Faithful, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button. The Padres are not done, reports Dennis Lane and others about making another move in the outfield. They cannot be done as they need to get a few more bats to say the least. But at least providing some insurance, some reputability, and some comfort to San Diego Padres fans, Jerkson Profar provides immediate VAR, as the DSG boys say on the Hogwatch. Catch him here tonight discussing the signing. VAR is not wins above replacement, but vibes above replacement. The vibes in the clubhouse need to return to those 2022 ways. Because let me tell you, 2023 was anything but. Friars Faithful, I want you to let Hoggy know down below what your thoughts are on the Jerkson Profar signing. It's been your boy Hog, and I'm signing out of here. Peace.